today, so yeah, today I went to church. It's Sunday, y'all. So if y'all didn't go to church, I better see y'all in church next Sunday. <laughs> I'm joking. It's Sunday. Um, I just wanted to say that I was going to church this morning and just to kind of put a little bit of my stuff out there. Um, I've just been going through a lot, guys. Like, um, I don't know. Business was slow in December and then early January and then things picked up, which is great because I love making tutus. Which, regardless of my hand, which you guys can't see, is looking a little ashy right there too. I have extremely dry skin. Um, my I went to therapy um, for my hand, which apparently all this sewing by hand, these bows and stuff, I need to be doing what these other girls are doing, which is pretty much ordering crap offline, or you know putting it together with like a zip tie or something. I hand sew my bows. I hand sew the elastic for my tutus. I hand sew a lot of stuff. And I don't have a sewing machine yet. I don't even know how to use a sewing machine yet. So anyway. So my story is that just for the past couple months, um, things have been really just crazy. Like really cray cray. Like the enemy is really just trying to attack me and my family um, we had a family member pass away on my husband's side and um, I started off the new year in the ER for staph infection like crazy stuff and like my husband was sick all during Christmas and then the new year and then I don't know just family stuff and just just stuff you know um, just it's 2014 and I've just been waiting on God to like swoop in like Superman and just take it all over and go, here's your blessing. And, um, hasn't exactly worked out that way. So I'm kind of just, um, I was kind of in a headspace this morning and it was just like, Lord, you throwing me some shade here because <laughs> things are not working out the way that I think that they should be right now and things aren't looking that hot and I'm just kind of frustrated with life and I'm just waiting for you to come in and help me and save me and you know um I even prayed on the way to church like in the car my husband and my son had gotten out and I was finishing up my little makeup and I was just like I just said to God Lord I need you to come in I need you to do a work I'm feeling really low I'm feeling like I'm praying and my prayers aren't getting answered and I know that you've answered me in the past and you've handled some things in the past and you've worked things out so I know that you're gonna that you're gonna come through and God has done so many miracles in my life changed my life I will not be telling that story today but but he has just come in and changed my life for the best better and um so I get in the church and Pastor Amy is uh, the my uh, senior pastor's daughter, a great woman of God, um, a pastor herself, and she preached today and it was just amazing. It spoke right to my knee, right to my heart, right to where I was. I'm going to cry. And just, it was exactly what I needed to hear. So, keeping it very real, um, it, it, it met me where I was and just let me see that, oh my gosh, I'm in my feelings right now. I need to be relying on God. Not only that, I'm so concerned with my own needs and what I need and, and what I'm not getting or what this person's life looks like, what that person's financial situation looks like, what that person's marriage or whatever it looks like and for those of you who don't know um uh, my hubby and I have been trying to have baby number two for a while and it's it's been a while and I had some complications and God delivered me from those I had uterine fibroids and ovarian cysts and God gave me a miracle after 19 years no wait hold on how old am I <laughs> wait, wait a second uh, no, after, oh my gosh, how many years has it been? Uh, 17? 16? 
something like 16, 17 years of dealing with ovarian cysts and then finding out in 2007 that I had a uh, uterine fibroid and then getting the news late 2013 that I have been healed. I have been delivered. I had two ultrasounds and there is nothing. No uterine fibroid, no ovarian cysts. The technician looked at me like I was crazy. I'm in there crying and like praising God and it's like, <laughs> what is this girl's problem? So yeah, that's my testimony and it's a huge testimony because I had been going through a lot of stuff for years um, of, you know, from those things and so God delivered me from that and just so many different things that he delivered me from and I'm sitting here like, oh my gosh, really? Like, you're forgetting, not, number one, um, not only what he's done for you, but number two, where he's brought you out of. Number three, the fact that you're not there anymore. You know, number four, there are so many things that he's dealing with you right now and changing you right now. And uh, really? <laughs> so I'm sure God is just sitting up there like, really you know are you really gonna go there with me so yeah lord i'm sorry um we need to trust him we need to get out of our feelings we need to get out of our head we need to stop looking at everybody else's situation and comparing it to us we need to trust that god's will for our lives is so much better than anything that we can hope or imagine to receive and I know this has nothing to do with ruffles ribbons and bows but this is my vlog and this is my truth and this is my testimony and I'm tearing up as we speak it is really real <laughs> you guys so um, that's pretty much my little testimony that I want to give just keep holding on I know it seems like the storm But God has such an amazing blessing, an amazing thing that he is doing in your life. And you just hold on. You just hold on. I'm sitting down, so this looks a little bit odd, but this is our homeschool room. And I will be doing a tour of this later. For right now, it's Monday, you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. And that madness is the homeschool room. Um, it just, it looks maddening. There's some of my work stuff. But I have things labeled now, so you can kind of see a little of it. Um, I wrote the labels, but now it looks crazy because I have my homeschool. Um, yeah. It looks cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because I have my homeschool stuff sitting here. This is my little teacher. Hi guys, it's Shell here, Ruffles, Ribbons, and Bows Boutique. And I am on my way to Walmart. I have to go really quickly and come back really quickly. So this is going to be a really short vlog. And I will see you guys when I get uh, to Walmart. So. Okay, so I'm not driving, and I actually need to be running into the store right now so I can get back. <laughs> but I love this song. So a moment of silence. I love this song, guys. This song is so beautiful. Boy. Hi guys, so this is the last leg of the vlog and I've already gone to the store and I came back and now I'm watching Starcross so this is a little quick ending to a pretty good day. We had a very <clears throat> we had a very busy homeschool day and so now I'm just trying to chillax and um, just enjoy life right now. It was a bit of a challenge because I was so tired. I took some uh, NyQuil last night because I wasn't feeling well. 
and then I forgot this morning that I had taken it and I was so out of it and then it dawned on me when <laughs> I had my second cup of coffee and I was still like a zombie that oh my gosh this is from the NyQuil so yes um I think that's pretty much it I will be doing another vlog soon and I'm trying to get this up tonight so that you'll at least hear a snippet that, you know, my giveaway ends in one day tomorrow. So hopefully you guys had a great St. Patrick's Day. And, um, and hopefully you saw the honesty in my vlog and my testimony and thought, wow, hmm. And you didn't go... The girl is crazy <laughs> so hopefully you liked it and hopefully it blesses somebody else and my testimony helps you out I, I have lots and lots of testimonies so um, because God has brought me a long way so yeah I'd love to share those with you in the future but tonight I'm going back in the house and I'm gonna watch Star Cross so pretty though look at this The sun is going down and it's just one of those really relaxing days. It's like 60 degrees. I love being outdoors and I love, um, although I'm a very private person so I normally don't come out here because neighbors are everywhere and that drives me up the wall, but I do love the outdoors. I love just sitting on the front porch on my little bench here and just enjoying the weather and getting a breather. But now I'm going back in because Star Cross is on. And then after Star Cross is the tomorrow people and then Teen Wolf. So um, I hope you guys like this vlog and I will see you soon. And look out for my other video this week, which will be showcasing an item um, from my shop, which I think is gonna be my hair bowl holder. So we'll see what I decide to do but um and if you like my makeup let me know yeah. anyway I'll talk to you later bye I forgot to tell you guys guess what yeah I'm in my son's room right now he's doing starfall but guess what I'm making Italian tonight so I'm making spaghetti homemade spaghetti with um, my secret sauce and garlic bread and salad <laughs> um, I love Italian food do not do not like wave <laughs> wave lasagna in front of my face because you will not come back with your fork okay or your hand okay I love everything Italian except of course I don't eat beef or fish or pork and don't I'm I would totally be a vegan if I could look at my bangs looking crazy I would totally be a vegan if I could but and I've tried to be a vegetarian I love cheese I love milk so vegan is out um, and I do support animal rights and I do I'm a huge animal rights activist and um, but I can't let go of the chicken. Now I make sure that it's cage free. It was raised humanely. It's expensive. So hopefully I can, you know, get off the chicken one of these days. But, um, look, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so, um, but yeah, pork I don't eat because pigs are cute. Cows I don't eat because they're cute. And I just don't, I just don't. And, and chickens are cute too. Um, I actually would love to have like a farm and have chickens and cows and everything except I don't like poo. I have to clean litter boxes so from five cats so I, I don't I don't want to do that but um, I would love that. I would love to like raise animals and be able to keep them and I would never kill any animal ever. I'm like I'd be the farmer that would make no money but Ha <laughs> ha